Welcome to Heavy Metal Monday. Hey, it's Micah Pugliano, Tim here live from Var Sales Gym. Welcome back to another edition of Heavy Metal Monday. Okay guys, so today I'm going to bring you an, access an accessory exercise I've been doing a lot lately. Um, if you're looking to improve your upper back strength, build your traps up a little bit, get some more stability in the shoulders, this is a movement I've been doing a lot, super setting it with um, like single arm rows or incline dumbbell rows, and it's called um, a TRX reverse fly. Uh, most gyms have TRXs now. Uh, these days, most public gyms like New York Sports Club or Retro Fitness, um, we have a ton of uh, straps here. I really like them a lot. We use them a lot with our clients, our college athletes. They're just great. They're great tools. We do 100 you know, TRX pull-ups a day, and you get a great pump in the forearms and the biceps and the upper back. And this is just another variation of it. It's called a reverse fly. Really hard. I'm gonna, you're going to see me perform a couple reps. We do a couple different angles, one from the side, one from the front. You'll see how I do it. I'll talk about how I execute it and the right way to get it done so you can get the most bang for your buck out of the exercise. And make sure you stay tuned for the end of my show for my heavy metal album of the week. Let's do it. Okay guys, so that was the TRX reverse fly. So a couple things for your setup. One, when you make sure you're setting your body up, you wanna be in a 45 degree angle. Now what I like to do is, I like to make sure that when I'm on that angle, okay, that my toes are up and I'm on my heels. The reason for this is that when I finish my rep, I know that I get a complete rep because I get back to my toes. So I go from heel to toe, and then I know I'm coming standing upright so I can finish my full range of motion. I try my best to keep my arms as straight as possible and really try to engage my upper back and traps. I did these the other day. My traps are probably the most sore out of any part of my body while doing this exercise. Um, also, when you're performing this exercise, make sure that you're breathing. Okay, a lot of times when people are doing exercises like this, they don't really concentrate. So they can squat, they can deadlift, they can bench, and they're concentrated on their breathing, but exercises like this, they're kind of just, eh, they're not thinking about it. So you really want to make sure you're keeping your abs nice and tight so you can maintain that 45 degree angle. So right at the top, when you're holding and you're locked out, that's when you want to breathe in. And as you finish your movement, let a little air out. And then the coming down, the eccentric part of the movement, okay, that is very important. I think that's where I probably got the most soreness from. It's important to, when you finish the top range of motion, to not bring the elbows back in and then go back into your next rep. If it's really difficult for you, that is an easier way to do it, okay? Plus, also, if it's also a little bit hard for you and just starting out, you can change the 45 degree angle. So the, the, the deeper, you know, the angle, the lower you are, the harder it is. So you can start off being a little bit more upright, and then as you get stronger, work your way down to make it a little bit harder. But the eccentric part of the movement, once I finished, I try to go back to my starting position the same way I came up. So I continue to keep my arms nice and straight, and this is what really gets um, by the time you get to the third, the fourth, the fifth rep, this is really what makes you burn. So uh, making sure that when you perform the TRX reverse fly, it's as strict as possible. Like I said, these are great to add in as part of an accessory part of your day for your workout. Um, just a combination with some sort of rowing. So if you're doing like a single arm row or an incline dumbbell row or a seated machine row, this is a great exercise to kind of pump a little bit more and fill the gap in with your workout. So try that out guys, it's TRX reverse fly. All right, next we're gonna move on to my heavy metal album of the week. So for this week's heavy metal album of the week, I'm gonna go back to 1994 from the first album by Machine Head. Machine Head's first album is called Burn My Eyes. Um, this album, to me, is one of their best albums right next to The Blackening. Uh, it has some of my most favorite songs in this, uh, Blood for Blood, uh, Davidian, um, Old. It's a fantastic album. It really proves who Machine Head is. Um, Machine Head has been a band that, for me personally, only in the last, like, I'd say maybe the last several years, I've really gotten into a lot more. Um, you know, as I was, you know, getting more and more into heavy metal as I got older, 
I started sneaking into Machine Head, but really in the, in the last few years, I've really been listening to them a lot, and I realized really how cool they are and how good they are. I got a chance to see them open up for uh, Metallica, which is really awesome. It was a great show. That was at uh, Prudential Center in New Jersey, and uh, great show. But uh, Machine Head, they just actually released a new song in June, so they'll be having a new album coming out, which means they're gonna go be, go, be going on back on tour, so I plan on definitely going to see them uh, whenever they come around. So the album of the week is from Machine Head. From 1994, the album's called Burn My Eyes fantastic heavy metal album. Okay guys, once again, thanks for checking in. I uh, hope you enjoy that exercise. Give that a shot at your local gym and uh, you'll really, uh, you'll be satisfied with the results that you get from that. Make sure you check out that album, Burn My Eyes by Machine Head. If you have any questions for me, get them in to me as soon as you possibly can. Make sure you check us out here at farseahousegym.com and I'll see you guys all next week. And until then, stay heavy. Stay heavy.